there's lots of discussion around using Zoom and Google Meet and what's better. Google Meet's the preferred platform for Catholic schools, particularly because we already have G Suite for Education. CECV's already ticked that off with the legalities. Permission has gone home to parents already around G Suite for Education and Google Meet is just another one of those core services which is covered under that agreement. The other big reason is that we already have accounts for students, therefore there's not duplication of sign-ins. They're able to use their school email address to sign in and this also allows us to put in place security measures to prevent users from outside the organisation. So no Zoom bombing or these uh, risks from outside users and we're able to do that because it's all structured around having Google accounts, which our students already do. Meet is particularly safe because it doesn't allow users from outside your school to join. So you might have heard of Zoom bombing and there's been things in the media about um, users jumping in and sharing inappropriate content. With Meet, we're only allowing students and users with a school email address into it and that can be set up correctly in the admin. So make sure your admin follows all the videos below to ensure that uh, particularly, students can't create their own Meet as well, and that can be done in the admin settings so that teachers are the only ones who can create a Meet. The other one is that teachers need to ensure when they create a Meet for students, they're doing it in the correct way, which ensures students can't jump into a Meet unsupervised. And the only way to do that is by creating a Meet with a nickname. So if you do it through a calendar or any other way, you're actually allowing students the possibility of going in unsupervised either before or after the designated time. So if you follow the videos below, the teacher videos to create a Meet using a nickname, you're ensuring that no students can be in a Meet unsupervised. Two important considerations that your school needs to uh, have a conversation around before this goes ahead is video. Do you allow students to have video enabled? And that is the risk being what's in the background and being in their homes. Uh, there's arguments for and against, but that's something as a school you need to decide on whether it is an expectation that students have video on or off or optional as well. The second consideration is recording of Google Meet. So the teacher's got the uh, option of recording a Meet and then it is stored in their drive as a video. If this is enabled, number one, it has to be communicated very clearly to parents and to students. And it also opens up the challenge of video and photo permissions, because if you're then recording that video, and if that video is then shared, uh, have parents signed off that a video is allowed of their students shared with other students. So you need to be considering those um, privacy concerns and that might be a reason that you have video off during the call for the students and then you're able to record it because it's voice only. Whatever it is, your decision you make as a school, you need to be really clear about it. Are you recording? If so, what measures are you taking to minimise risk and also getting appropriate permission from parents?